today's Namaste Yoga continues our Durga series with Kushmanda Durga and Radiant Joy. Hello and welcome to episode 185 of Namaste Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me. We are continuing our Durga series with Kushmanda Durga and we are going to be talking about radiant joy today. So I have a testimonial to start our practice today from Denmark from Janice. Hi Melissa, um, I just finished your series 181. I I believe this is one of the best series up to date. It's very powerful and strengthening. I love it. I take away so much mostly stability and connection, although I know it's very personal what each individual focuses on. And by the by, I also use my cork blocks to display carved elephants um, that my son brought back from Nepal for me. The colors are almost the same and feel very organic not unlike the well-being of organic uh, balance in this series. Thank you very much. Much love from Denmark. Janice, namaste. Thank you, Janice, for your kind words about the Durga series. I'm so glad you're enjoying it, and I really appreciate you taking the time to send your comments through SpeakPipe. There are directions on how to do that at thankyoumelissa.com. No, yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> it's on the screen. Okay, great. Um, thank you also to everybody who contributed to our mic pack campaign. That Those are arriving today any moment, actually. So uh, we're so excited. We'll have them next week to be able to film Namaste Yoga. And we'll be filming our um, Smoothie Saturday video with it for tomorrow we'll be filming that tomorrow with our brand new mic pack so we're super excited about that you can still make donations to that if you want to take advantage of the perks for those because there's some great perks for them um, and that's very available on our homepage if you wanted to take a look at that oh it's on melissawest.com slash mic m-i-c Okay, thank you to Squeeze Yoga Clothing for my clothes for the show. I am wearing the new shorts and also if you've been watching Thirsty Thursdays and our daily blogs where I answer your questions on Living Your Yoga and our Smoothie Saturday videos, I've been wearing the awesome new bamboo skirts. They're just gorgeous, so definitely check those out as well. And thank you to Dusky Leaf for our props and our blocks and I, my mats and everything today you're only going to need your mat uh, and a wall so if you can get those okay go ahead and rest back and we will begin to contextualize today's class on kushmanda durga and our class on radiant joy So here we are at the fourth form of Durga, Kushmanda, and she resides in your fourth chakra, actually, the Anahata chakra or the heart chakra. She is also worshipped on the fourth day of Navratri. Kushmanda means ku, a little, ushma, which means warmth or energy in the form of heat, and anda means the cosmic egg. Kushmanda is considered the creator of the entire universe. As the story goes, the universe was no more than a void full of darkness. 
Kushmanda is believed to reside in the core of the Surya Mandala or the solar system. And it is because of her power and strength that she is able to live in the core of the sun. One day, out of the full void of darkness, it is said that Ma Kushmanda created the whole universe with her smile. As she lives in the core of the sun, her body shines like the glowing sun itself and she gives light in all directions with her divine smile. So whatever brilliance you see in the world, it's said to be a reflection of her splendor. Her light spreads in all directions like the rays of a sun. Krishmanda is depicted as having eight or ten hands and she rides a lion. She has a kamandal, which is a watering can, and it's a symbol of fertility. A danush, a bow, a gada, which is a sword, and a kamal, which is a lotus, in her right hands. And an amrit kalash, which is a copper pot, a jap mala, which are the mala beads, a gada, which is a club, and a chakra, which is a discus that she uses as a weapon, in her left hands also said that she likes pumpkins so her devotees often offer her pumpkins she symbolizes peace prosperity and pleasure today we're really going to connect to her through her joy and her radiance and this idea of her being at the center of the solar system with the sun So let's connect to her radiance and joy like the beautiful sun through a breath practice that I learned from Thich Nhat Han through his recording called Breath and Mind Are One. So just begin by noticing your in-breath and your out-breath as you rest back here. And as you breathe in, become aware that you are alive. As Thich Nhat Hanh says, as you breathe in, you have the insight that you are alive. And you can say to yourself, breathing in, I become aware that I am alive. Breathing in, I become aware that I am alive. So you touch the miracle of being alive as you breathe into your body. Breathing in, I become aware that I am alive. And as you breathe out, you smile, so you breathe out mindfully and you smile. So you're celebrating the fact that you are alive as you breathe out. Breathing out, you smile to the life inside of you and all around you. Breathing out, Smile to the life inside of you and all around you. Breathing in, I am aware that I am alive. Breathing out, I smile to the life inside of me and all around me. And so we take this time to enjoy breathing together. Breathing in, I am alive. Breathing out, I smile.
I am very happy that you're here with me, breathing with me, and practicing yoga with me today. Breathing in, I am alive. Breathing out, I smile to the gift of life and life all around me. And we take joy in the simple act of breathing and the gift of life itself. And from that place of joy and gratitude, Begin to form your intention for today's practice. What is it that you would like to receive from your practice today? Why are you here? Why did you choose to practice this class? Why did you choose to practice yoga today? So let's carry this intention with us as we continue to practice our yoga together today. You're going to stay lying on your back. And we're going to continue with this breath practice. Only we're going to add some arms to it. So you're going to breathe in and arc your arms overhead like the rays of a sunshine and then breathe out and arc your arms back down. The breathing in you touch the miracle of being alive and breathing out you smile to the gift and the joy of life. Breathing in, you are aware of life inside and all around you. Breathing out, you smile to the gift of life inside of you and all around you. Breathing in, you are aware that your breath is life. Breathing out, you smile to the gift of that life. Breathing in. Breathing out, smile. Breathing in. And breathing out, smile. Okay, great. And then bend your knees. Roll to your right side. And come up onto all fours. Okay, from all fours, we're going to practice some cat pose to warm up your spine. So breathe out, you're going to round up your spine. And breathe in, you're going to arch your spine. And actually, we're going to come... (laughs) There's a little chipmunk. Oh, it just went under. So speaking of the gift of life all around us. So see, when you set that intention, you see the gift of life all around you as well. So you bring your forearms down onto the ground. You take your, you make sure that your wrists and your elbows are equal distance from each other. So for things that we're going to be doing later, it's very common that your elbows come further than your wrists. So keep your elbows and wrists equal distance from each other. And the intention might have to be to bring your elbows in a little bit. And we'll do cat pose from here. So exhale, round up through your back. And inhale, arch through your back. And from here, for me, I don't know about for you. You can check in and see what it's like for you. 
but I seem to be able to access my heart center a little bit more, move from my upper back and thoracic spine a little bit more, just see what it feels like in your body. Walk your hands back to your knees. And we're going to do some lunge pose to open up the front of your hips. And I would encourage you to double up your mat underneath your knees if you're not on some softer surface like grass, like I've been lucky to be on lately with all our filming. So that you've got some extra padding underneath your knees. And then you're going to start by walking your left leg through so that you open up through your ascending colon first. And we're going to do a heart opening mudra here. So bring the heels of your hands together, your pinky fingers, your baby fingers, and your thumbs together. And bring this to your heart center. So that our hearts open like the radiant sun, like Kushmanda Durga here. And then let's just add on those radiant sunbeam arms here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, reach up. Well, actually, exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, namaste, hands to your heart. Anjali mudra, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Two more like that. For the Anahata Chakra here. And one more. And then we'll switch sides for this lunge pose here. And we'll do lunge pose on the other side. So step your right leg forward. For lunge pose, sink down heavy through your right foot and come upright. So now you're accessing your descending colon. Bring the heels of your hands together, baby fingers and thumbs. Bring that to your heart center. So opening your Anahata Chakra, your heart center, like Kushmanda Durga. So like the rays of the sun. to have a little smile on your face just like Kushmanda Durga her, her smile lights up the whole universe and then we'll actually use those sunshine arms to so start with your hands at your heart center inhale reach up exhale hands to your heart inhale reach up exhale hands to your heart Great. And that's it from here. And come on out of the pose. And then I think I have something really fun for you now. Okay, let's see. Go oh, before we do that, we're gonna do a little heart opener here for puppy pose. So just come towards the back of your mat. Keep your legs perpendicular to the ground. So at a 90 degree angle to the ground. 
bring your hands far forward, spread your fingers nice and wide. You're gonna tip your sit bones up and open your heart center to the ground. This is puppy pose. So a, a, a heart opener here, a little back bend here. If you're really flexible here and your nose is getting really squished, you can come up onto your chin here. But only if you haven't had any major neck injuries. And then to come out of this pose, bend your arms and roll forward and bring your knees forward. And we'll do child's pose with your hands down by your feet. Great. So it's such a humid day here and it feels like a tropical rainforest because <laughs> there's so much lush vegetation here. There's life all around us. There's birds and then the plants and flowers are life too. It's just a gorgeous location here in my friend Jill's house. Okay, and then roll up to seated. Okay, this is the fun part. <laughs> I'm looking at that puddle, I'm not wanting to go in it. So, Kushmanda Durga likes pumpkin. And so there was this pose that we did at Esther Meyer's yoga studio called pumpkin pose. It's a made up pose for sure. <laughs> Must have come out of a kid's yoga class. And um, it's a rolling pose. They used to do this whole, they still do this workshop there actually called Rolling Like a Ball, where the whole class was about rolling. And it's about releasing your fascia, actually, because if you can soften the connective tissue in your body, it goes a long way to increasing your flexibility. And actually, I'm going to do a course on this in Toronto next weekend on July 13th and 14th. And I'm going to be offering some special classes to the members in the membership site on myofascial release in the uh, upcoming months which will be really exciting they're very excited about that so um, uh, myofascial release is really great because your body has connective tissue all the way through it if you look at it if you open an orange and all the little white spots in the orange hold the pieces of the orange together your whole body is like that you have connective tissue holding all your muscles and bones together and all your organs together and but this uh, connective tissue can get very stiff and there are ways that we can release it we've done exercises in namaste yoga before where we roll the bottom of our feet with a tennis ball to help release your hamstrings or where we rub our ears to help release your neck so this exercise actually can help release a lot of the connective tissue in your body as well and as I go to, I'm going to be going to this workshop for myofascial release in your hands and your feet and it affects your whole body. So you can, whenever you do myofascial release anywhere in your body, it affects the tissue all over your body. So you can do something at the bottom of your feet, it'll affect your head. It's amazing. Anyway, so we're going to do pumpkin pose today. So the way it works is you come into Baddha Kanasana and you bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees open and then you roll <laughs> and you have to be not too committed to your mat 
and you just roll and then you come on back up and then you roll again <laughs> and this helps to soften the connective tissue in your body And if you roll a little harder, you don't have to push yourself back up. But I'm on a pretty hard surface here. You could put some blankets down or something, maybe. We'll do one more roll. <laughs> it is pretty fun. I think you can't help but to smile when you do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay, pumpkin pose. Pretty fun. <laughs> this I wanted this class to be really fun, so you smile like Kushmanda uh, Durga. Okay, so after that, we're going to come up to standing. Okay, from standing, we are going to practice sun salutations for Kushmanda Durga. And... I have some exciting news for our members, actually. One of our open-hearted graduates from our continuing education series is coming next Friday, actually, to film Surya Namaskar A and B for us, for our members. And that was a request from our members. So Sun Salutations is not my expertise, but Lisa uh, Kerr, who lives in Newmarket, is uh, Ashtanga trained teacher. She's going to be doing a tutorial for everybody actually on Chaturanga and then we're going to be filming Surya Namaskar A and B for our members because that was a request of theirs. So I will do my <laughs> best <laughs> uh, sun salutations and she's going to do her expert sun salutations next week for us. We'll be putting that on the membership site for everybody. Okay, so this is for Kushmanda Durga, who lives in the solar system, will be expanding outwards like the rays of the sunshine. So bring your hands into Anjali Mudra, and inhale, reach up. And exhale, hinge forward, bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, reach your right foot back. Your left foot comes back. You can place your knees on the floor if you need to. Elbows straight back, lower down. Inhale, lift up into Cobra. Exhale, come back into Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward. Exhale, your left foot comes forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, your hands come to your heart center. In, reach up. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, your left foot comes back. Your right foot comes back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left foot comes in. Exhale, your right foot comes in. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. Your hands come to your heart center. So that's one round. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, your right foot comes back. Step your left foot back. Exhale, elbows straight back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, your left foot back. Step your right foot back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift your chest, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Exhale, step your right foot forward. 
Inhale, come on up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Deep breath in. And breathe out. Here, we're going to do one more round. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge forward through your hips. Inhale, step your right foot back. Your left foot steps back into plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your right foot in. Exhale, step your left foot in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. And one more round. Inhale, lift your heart up to the sun. Exhale, hinge forward through your hips. Inhale, step back. Your right foot comes back. Exhale, elbows straight back. See, I've missed this step every single time with my head. Isn't that good? <laughs> Inhale, lift up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot in. Exhale, right foot in. Inhale, come up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Deep breath in. And breathe it out. Okay, great. And then, I also have to thank another one of our open-hearted graduates, Sandy Collins, for putting, helping me put this class together because she helped me remember Pumpkin Pose from Esther Myers, and she also helped me remember this Tibetan Energy Series breath that I wanted to do with you for the, this uh, um, Goddess Victory Squat. So thank you, Sandy. <laughs> so you're gonna take your feet to 10 and two o'clock, and you're gonna come into Goddess Victory Squat in your legs. Okay, so the way it works is you start with your hands out to the side, you inhale, you hold your breath, you slap your heart, you circle three times one way, three times the other way, and then you <sighs> exhale and you fling your arms out. Okay, so big breath in. <sighs> we'll do that three times. And we'll do it two more. And one more. Awesome. So that's just so much fun. I had to do that with you. I wanted this class to be really fun. So I hope it's really fun and makes you smile like Kushmanda Durga. Okay, so. Let's move on to some more radiant poses. I'm gonna give you two options for this pose. So you're gonna come down. Let's come through, inhaling up, exhaling, folding forward, and step back into downward facing dog. And then we're going to do downward facing dog on your forearm. So this is called dolphin pose. And you wanna make sure that your elbows and your forearms are equal distance apart and you might choose to stay here in this pose but if you wanted to try forearm balance then you can try forearm balance too and so this is going to be a bit of a big deal for me too <laughs> I have to gather up some courage for this because I don't have a wall I just have a post <laughs> which is a very thin wall. So I'm gonna move my mat and try that out. I'm thinking if I put my mat to the side of it, then I'll catch it with one leg. Maybe that would be good. I really want a wall. 
Yeah. I'm thinking, can we move to a wall? Okay, so for my safety and security, and this is good, we should all do this, we should look after ourselves, we've moved to a wall. <laughs> that that uh, post was just not secure enough for me to feel confident to do this pose today. So let me show you how to do this pose. And I also had a few practice shots at it off camera too. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like the pressure of doing things on camera. So the way it works is you come onto your forearms and remember you can stay with doing dolphin pose, downward facing dog on your forearms as well. So you come into downward facing dog and you take a step in and then you kick up. And that's it. And you might even be able to take your practice taking your, if you look at a point on the ground, you might be able to practice taking your toes off the wall too. But not me today. <laughs> so that is forearm balancing pose. And that's a back bend and an inversion. And it's a really great yoga pose because it builds upper body strength. And it's, if you have neck injuries, it's a great one because you're, there's no compression in your neck. You're holding your head off the ground with your upper body strength. And so we just, we're just fil finishing filming a uh, strength building se series for the members. So it would be good and strong to be able to do that pose. <laughs> okay, let's come back to our... You want me to finish here? Okay, let's do, we're gonna do Matsi and Drasana after this. So take your legs straight out in front of you. Bend your right leg in. Crush your right leg over your left leg. And you can leave this here depending on the flexibility of your hips. If you're flexible in your hips, you might be able to bring your left heel up to your right buttocks, wrap your Left arm around your right leg and turn towards it. And then come on back to the center and we'll switch sides. So take your legs straight out in front of you again. Slide your left leg in. Cross your left leg over your right leg and you can leave your right leg out. And again, depending on the flexibility of your hips, you may be able to bring your right leg in. If you can put both your left heel and your left buttocks on the ground, then then it's good. If not, put your right leg out again. Lengthen out through your spine, inhale. Starting from the base of your spine, your pelvis, rotate, then move up through your spine, the rotation. Wrap your right arm around your left leg. back to center and we're going to finish with a mudra to elevate your heart and a mantra so the mudra to elevate your heart you take your hands and you make an L shape with them you push you take your thumbs and you point them back into your armpits here and then for the mantra I'm going to need my notes okay so you're going to keep your hands in the mudra while I talk you through the mantra and we are just going to remember that I am a real person too. <laughs> and I am learning this part of my yoga right now. I am a student of mantra and I'm learning Sanskrit. And this mantra was a real challenge for me. I can't believe I chose this mantra to be honest with you. So let me tell you about it. It's 
it goes Sarva Mangal Mangal Ye Shive Savart Sardake Sharayane Triambake Gare Naranyane Namostate. Okay? <laughs> So that's long, <laughs> and that's a lot. And I put the words in the show notes for you as well. So Sava Mangal Mangaye means to auspiciousness of all auspiciousness. And Shive means to the good. Savat Sardike means to the accomplisher of all objectives. Sharanye means to the source of refugee. Triambake means to the mother of all three worlds. Gauri means to the goddess who is rays of light. Narayani means exposer of consciousness. Namotsute means we honor you, we bow to you again and again. So, <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> I'm going to do my best. Here we go. I'm going to do it. My teacher says to do it three, six, or nine times. I haven't decided how many times I'm going to do it yet. <laughs> Tim says do it three. I think three sounds like a sufficient number of times that I'm ready to do it today. Okay. Sarva mangal mangal ye, Shiva savat sarike, Saranye trayamake, Gauri yaranyanye namastate. Sarva manga manga ye, Shive savata sadike, Shiranye triambake, Gauri yaranye namostate. Sarva manga manga ye, Shive savata sadike, Shiranye triambake, Gauri yaranye namostate. One more, right? <laughs> that was three. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> Tim says Bollywood just called. <laughs> they don't want me? No. I failed the audition. <laughs> okay. But I smiled. And that's what this was all about, Kushmande. Uh, Durga was all about the smiling. Okay, so let's go ahead and rest back for a Shavasana. So now that I've got you all smiling and laughing and enjoying being alive, let's rest back and reflect on the theme of today's class. which was radiant joy. So what was it like to connect with your radiant joy today? To connect with your smile, to connect with your brilliance, to glow in all directions like the sun. As you reflect back on the class, just notice what stands out, what seems most important. What is it that you would like to take with you from today's class? as you move off your yoga mat and into your life.
Gradually allow your breath to deepen. Wiggle and stretch out. Bend your knees and roll to your right side. Slowly make your way up to sitting. Thank you for joining me for episode 185 of Namaste Yoga. I'm so glad you could be with me here today to practice yoga with me. Thank you for leaving your comments below. I look forward to hearing <laughs> about us learning together. I will see you on the membership site. Namaste.